Hey everybody, um, this video is just to discuss your social media etiquette while you're in the application process and also your video interview because you can use your phone for your video interview. Yeah, it's that simple. Um, so we're just going to discuss that because I'm getting a bunch of questions on the video interview. I'm going to put the link to all my videos discussing the application process and then interview video interview questions in face-to-face -face interview questions in my um, description box below because I get the same question over and over like how do I do the video interview so this is going to just discuss on anything dealing with the video interview and anything dealing with social media so let's just start out with the video interview because that's probably what you guys really really want to know one there's usually one person on the video interview it's you it's you it's not a skype chat it's not a snap it's not anything like a video web call it's literally you recording your answers off of on an app or if you use your phone you download the app if you use your webcam you just click the link it'll take you to it how it usually is it's bet anywhere between five to ten questions they are pre um, loaded so it's not like they're just random everybody gets the exact same questions they're loaded it gives you about a half a minute and a half to really decipher how you're going to answer the question and then you answer it um, major tip major 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 tip just because you think it's not recording does not mean it is not recording. Um, we hear all the stories about how somebody has gotten up and they're professional from their head to their waist and then he gets up to answer the phone or do something, he was doing something and he had no pants on. Um, we hear stories about how people have their dogs and stuff barking in the background, unprofessional. We even heard a story about a lady who was interviewed during her video interview answers the phone and says hey um let me call you right back i'm doing this stupid video interview that's not smart so just be cautious that that little ticker just because it's not showing it's recording does not mean it's not recording some airlines and just some jobs in general whenever they do do a video interview they have that thing recording the whole time they're just wanting to see how you're acting what you're talking about how your background looks like if this is going to be a professional person like if you took time out of your day to make sure you were going to be in a professional setting even though it's your home um do it at home don't do it at the library don't do it at starbucks don't do it at anywhere that has free wi-fi don't do it don't do it we hear about that stuff too well, it's like the internship with um, Vince Vaughn and something Owen, Owen Wilson, um, where they were doing their video interview for their internship in the library. Like, don't do that type of stuff. Don't do it because you're just setting yourself up to be upset whenever the thank you but no thank you email comes. Don't do that stuff. What I did was I put my son to sleep, like good and sleep, like made sure he wasn't going to just accidentally wake up and ask me a question. I took my butt in the bathroom because I knew my bathroom wall, um, where my mirror was, and the, what was directly behind my mirror was a white blank canvas, which was the door, and I did my video interview. Make sure you're just somewhere clean, quiet, and look professional like and then don't don't be moving around a lot just don't just sit there as if that person was right there like if you're sitting there having a face-to-face -face conversation you guys the questions are not that hard they aren't if you have any type of job history use that as a reference if you have any if you've never worked if you're just getting out of college and you never work, use your volunteer experience, use a group project, 
use any type of experience that you have had that may possibly apply to what you may you want to be doing but you guys don't stress about the video interview because if you take your time and really think about it like the questions aren't that hard and if you get on Glassdoor and this video is not sponsored by Glassdoor I'm just saying it because I did it for my personal experience I got on Glassdoor and you can look up each airline and then type of flight attendant interview and you sh people are putting their reviews and these aren't people who are flight attendants these are people who did the interview process whether they accepted a um got a job offer or not they one girl literally typed out all the questions for the interview like for the video interview and what she did and this that, and the other and how she felt like she messed up use these as your tools to get past the video interview that's all i have to say about the video interview it's not that hard it's just take your time be in a professional clean quiet environment and be positive outspoken smile just be professional act as if you are on a normal interview social media people I'm a social media whore I can admit that I love my social media I have Facebook I have snapchat I have Twitter I have Instagram I have whatever I have it but I make sure the way I conduct myself on my social media will not prevent me from getting a job. Airlines and Fortune 500 companies have teams of people to monitor, to go and check, to be lurkers, pretty much. Those people who are lurking your page, sometimes they are not who you think they are. Sometimes they create fake pages to see you. Um, yes. And they still do it after we're hired. We have to watch what we say. Like if I'm upset, oh man, they only gave me two fruit and cheese. Ugh. And tag my airline. Who's getting in trouble? Me. <laughs> so what do you think is going to happen when your name is on your social media is... Pookie Boo Boo and them, I got swag for days. Pose beyond these nuts cold. Like, what it, don't do that. If you don't want to have your social media lurk like that, you need to check all your privacy settings. Check them all off so nobody can lurk. And then you, like me, my Facebook is semi open. It is private unless you send me a friend request um if you want to post anything on my wall i have to approve it first unless you're literally my mom my brother like it pe certain people only have the approval to post things to me. if you tag me in something i get the alert so i can remove tag if i don't like it um i'm just very cautious with my social media like some days i really get tired with any type, any job, and I want to post, oh, I hate this. I don't do it. I love my job. I hate it that day, maybe that flight. But in the long run, I'm okay. I'll be okay. And then, if you're sharing, like, twerking videos, fight videos, any type of video that puts a person in a negative light, of course they're not going to know... All they're going to see is you sharing this type of content and that's not the type of person they will want in their airline. Confidentiality is a lot um, to do with this job. So like my little funny stories, I never know who that person is or I never release their names, but I never take pictures of passengers. There's people who take pictures of passengers and put them on their social media and then wonder why they get a call from a supervisor. Like, I don't do it. 
being just I'm not saying you can't have fun I'm not saying you can't do the quizzes I'm not saying you can't repost the meme of Beyonce giving all type of resting bitch face talking about hey, this is how I woke up like this like just be cautious of what you put like certain things can get you bumped out of the door because if you they go to your Instagram and see you busted it open they're like oh is she going to be professional in her uniform? Or dudes, if they go to your Instagram and see you blazing up one, and you may not even be the one blazing up one. Your homie next to you may be the one blazing up one, but you're guilty by association. So just be cautious of what you put on your social media. Don't complain about a company on your social media and tag them, especially an airline. And then you try to apply for them and because the, what they do will, is search a tag and if your name pops up and or your name pops up and it's they see that it's linked to all this account and they're like oh we just checked their Facebook their Facebook was good but what's this on Twitter where she's saying this is this that and other don't just be cautious about what you do especially in the application process and when you get your job because they watch us even harder after that don't miss out on an opportunity because you want to be petty and post something about your ex home girl or somebody looks stupid. Just don't lose out on a job being petty. But that is pretty much it. I am exhausted. A spider bit me on my back and it hurts so bad. So. But I wanted to get these videos up today before I go into hibernation mode. And um, a lot of stuff has just been happening lately. Got a bit, I had to have root canals done. Just had a lot going on. But I'm good. I'm going to be great. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I'm no longer doing uh, resume reviews at the moment. Because I have between work and um, the union work that I'm doing, I just really don't have the time. So that's on hold until my union tour is done. And that is it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section or shoot me an email. Um, I now have a Facebook page up. I'll put the link below. Uh, this, you can press put questions on that Facebook page and I'll answer them um if you guys have any questions you know the drill I'm always open oh if you are sending me questions on Instagram please be aware that sometimes Instagram does not notify me until days later so if a question is urgent like say you have your interview Tuesday it's best to email me or now put put it on the Facebook page because I can get to it faster because I get on my Facebook page I have an instant notification on my email I have an instant notification so that email address is just for you guys it's just for the stuff for you guys so it's nothing else going to that email so I know it's pertaining to you needing stuff done for your interview if you're like what are some tips and tricks to get over my fear It's an interview and you have to, especially on this job, you have to get over the fear of messing up. You're going to mess up. Like the other day I spilled a Coke on somebody. Actually, I didn't spill it. I went to, he wanted me to hand it to him. No, um, hand it to him because he has the laptop was on. Uh, he was getting ready to put his laptop up and I handed it, go to hand it to him, but he does this. And then instead of, oh, no, he does this. So his, our cups are like this big. And his he has his hand open like it's a two liter bottle. So it just slid through his hand. So you just have to get over your fear of messing up. People mess up. They'd rather see you mess up in your video interview than look like a recorded message. Like, oh, she's been practicing for three weeks. Like, 
it doesn't feel like it's sincere. So that's about it, guys. Love you guys. Bye. Stay fly.